beauties welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you're doing great i'm doing very well here as you guys can already tell so if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is yeni and this channel is all about inspiring you to own your life live up to your potentials and to be your best self i turned 30 in a few days i think tomorrow actually i turned 30 tomorrow and i'm so excited about this new age and you guys can already tell so i decided to film a video where i share with you guys some of the lessons i've learned in on my journey to 30 and i'm going to title this video the things i know for sure now at 30 you know so it's going to be like lessons that i've learned on this journey so if you guys are interested in this video definitely keep on watching so i have on my phone the list of things that i know for sure now i've been writing them down i've been jotting them down on my notes on the notes on my phone so that i don't forget any of the points while i'm making this video because i knew that i was going to film this video yes i knew that so i was already jotting down the points uh, ahead of time so that's what i'm going to be doing so if you see me looking down i'm looking at my phone for the highlights okay so the first thing i would say is that a relationship with god is very important that is something in fact that is the first thing i know for sure now i know that a relationship with god is the best thing is the best relationship that you can ever have right and i say this because when i look at my life and the things that i've achieved how far i've grown you know the things that i have now the gifts the anything you see about me that you just admire I know now that it's been, it's just God's grace. And um, until I started to grow in my relationship with God, I did not know what I wanted to do. Like it was until I started to grow in my relationship with God that I started to understand who I am, that I started to understand the power I have, the power I have as a woman. I started to understand my dominion. I started to gain clarity on who I want to be and, you know, where I just want my life to, you know, to go, the direction I want my life to go. And so... When I understood that, I started to walk in so much power, in so much confidence, in so much um, joy, in so much peace, and it just makes everything better. I just look back now and I realize that all of the decisions I've made up until this point is just because of the relationship I have with God. Not that I'm the one that, you know, did a lot, not that I'm the one that put in so much effort to build that relationship. It was more of God choosing me, having interest in me, loving me. And, you know, just directing my life, leading my life in a way that I would understand, you know, I would see myself the way he sees me. Do you guys understand? Just grow in your relationship with God. Just have faith. Just not religion. I'm not talking about religion here. I'm talking about a good relationship with God, studying your Bible, knowing the plans that God has for you. I mean, the word of God says that he has given, God has given you dominion over the earth. It says you are the light of the world. It says, you, I mean, it's, there's so much power, so much power in growing building your relationship with god so one thing i know for sure now is that a relationship with god is very important and you know life is full of decision making we make decisions every day and i cannot even say that all of the decisions i've made up until this point in my life is based on my own um, wisdom or my own understanding or my own intellectual ability i know that it's just god helping me you know if you're still struggling in that area you might want to take it seriously okay <laughs> so the second thing i know for sure now is that you won't always be in the spotlight so when the lights are on you maximize it okay so that's the way i wrote it on my notes but i'm just going to explain a little bit the fact that you know because you have um certain privileges now doesn't mean that you will continue to enjoy the privileges let's say for example you're an influencer now and all the attention is on you everybody's talking about you everyone is raving about you just remember that there was someone before you that everybody was talking about before you came so whenever you are in that spot that all attention is on you you have all the opportunities you have all the time in the world you have all the resources you need just maximize it like that is something i know for sure now that the spotlight will not always be on you you will not be in the spotlight for long the attention will shift it may come back to you i'm not saying that it will never come back to you or you cannot maintain it but it's about how you maximize that uh, attention when it comes that's when it will be profitable for you that's how it will you know be profitable for you so if you don't maximize the opportunities if you don't maximize the time the attention the spotlight the time you're on stage and everyone is on you if you don't maximize it properly then you may not be able to retain that attention you know you may not be able to retain the benefits that come from it i hope i'm saying it well so 
just to personalize it a little bit you know just as i said there was a time that i had all the opportunity i had the resources i had the time well to the best of my knowledge at the time based on what i know the level of my intellect um, I think I did my best, you know, you cannot grow beyond what you know, like you cannot be who you do not know, something like that, you know. So, yes, I, I tried my best at that point, but I feel like I could have done better. So one thing I know for sure now is that nobody's going to be at the center of attraction for their entire life. You know, there's going to be a point in your life that you have to shift a little bit for another person to shine. So it depends on how much you have used the time that you were shining. That's what will help you. It may come back to you, but at least you know that whenever opportunity comes, whenever the attention is on you, just always have it at the back of your mind that mm, this thing may go away. So maximize that time. It doesn't mean you should live with a scarcity mindset. It just means that you should maximize every opportunity just in case you don't stay there for as long as you expected to get so that's the second thing i know for sure so the third thing i know for sure now is that you shouldn't try to correct yourself rather improve yourself and let me just read what i wrote in my notes because i i like i like what i wrote and when i write on my notes i just write as if i'm speaking to myself so i wrote that you see language and perspective matter in how we deal with ourselves so it matters in how you deal with yourself that is me writing to myself now so correct means you are focusing on the destination while improving means you are focusing on the process as i said i knew that i was going to film this video at one point so i was reflecting every once in a while i would reflect on my childhood on my journey and um, this particular time something happened to me and i remember uh, when i was a child i used to cry a lot like when i'm explaining things when something happens and they ask me to you know explain myself i would just cry and i remember um them saying it um in yoruba at the time in my native language that asukun rojo ile loan too it means that someone who cries when they are talking is guilty something like that i don't know the literal meaning but like you're guilty when you're crying just say what's on your mind instead of crying so I would always try to suppress that emotion. I tried as much as possible not to cry. In fact, it's something that I worked hard on not to cry. And um, over time, I lost that emotion. I lost how to be vulnerable. It became something that I wouldn't even cry in front. I remember that when I was still dating my husband, he never saw me cry. When we nearly got married, if I want to cry, I'll just go into the closet. When things, when I'm very angry, I cry. When I'm excited, I cry. When I'm trying to explain myself and someone is not getting me i cry when someone hurts me really bad i cry but ever since that um, statement while i was a child i worked hard on that particular part of me that emotion that i did not want people to um see me cry so i would cry a lot and nobody like a lot of people did not know that i cry a lot like it got to a point that i had to work on that part of me that I did not want my husband to see me cry. Like, I didn't want to be vulnerable in front of anybody. I just wanted to be able to take care of myself emotionally. It worked for me. It worked for me because in some areas, like, people would perceive me as being strong and it worked for me. But in other areas, it also affected me. So that's just what I'm trying to say when I say I'm um, correcting yourself focuses on the destination. So instead of trying to correct something about you, because I believe that, you know this thing that they say about strengths and weaknesses? Personally, I don't believe in it. Personally, I believe that we all have traits. I believe God has created every one of us with traits, with gifts. I don't think anybody has weaknesses. Now, your trait in an environment could become a weakness. People would see it as a weakness. For example, that particular trait of me showing emotion through crying, you know, it's in that environment that, that I was at the time, it became a weakness. I saw it as a weakness, but it was just a trait. So I tried so much to correct that trait, focusing on um, how people would see me instead of focusing on how to manage that situation, how to manage that trait. So I would say that instead of trying to correct yourself now, what I've learned is that try to improve on that trait. Try to work around it. If it's something that you know you see about it, for example, uh, my husband is also very critical. When he sees things, he would analyze it critically right it works for him with or his job what he does but it doesn't work for him in marriage so he cannot be over critical about the things that i do he cannot overanalyze what i do he cannot but it doesn't mean that he should try to correct that aspect of him 
because he would just lose that um trait that works for him you know where he earns you know <laughs> if you get what i'm trying to say so instead of correcting what you have try to manage it since this trait doesn't work in this particular area find a way around it people in this part of the world don't like to see you cry okay find a way to express yourself without you know really busting into tears at every point find a way to manage it and you know just walk around it because you might be in another place and you need to be vulnerable i mean sometimes when i'm talking on camera or when i'm i don't know how to emote i don't know how to show my emotions even when i want you guys to feel the emotions behind what i'm saying but i don't know how to express myself i don't know how to emote because i worked on a particular trait that killed how i would emote do you guys get what I'm trying to say? I don't know if I'm saying this very well, but all I'm trying to say is that now I know for sure that we all have traits. We don't have strengths or weaknesses. Your trait in a very healthy environment becomes your strength. Yes, we all have gifts. We have unique assets. We have things that, you know, adjust our power, our leverage. But then I don't believe in weaknesses. I believe that your strength in the wrong environment becomes a weakness. So just don't try to correct yourself. Don't try to cover up things about yourself. Just find a way to manage it. That's part of emotional intelligence, right? <laughs> Just find a way to uh, improve it. So that's another thing that I know for sure now. And I'm trying to, you know, also adapt, adopt in my life. I'm not going to try to correct myself, but I'm trying to improve myself. I'm going to try to manage certain things about myself. So yeah, that's another thing that I know for sure now. So the fourth thing I know now is that knowledge is power. Information is very powerful and i know that it sounds cliche like you know this is very popular everybody knows it but in my 20s i i don't know it was then it, i came to the realization and the understanding of what it means when people say that knowledge is power i remember that to be honest guys there is a reason there is a why to everything we just have to be curious there is information on anything you need there is you just need to be curious you just need to have an open mind you just need to be willing to learn you know and that's the way they say that your 20s is your defining stage the time of exploration the time of this self-discovery and all of that i feel like it's in your 30s that you enjoy the fruit of your labor in your in your 20s so it's in in, in your 30s that you i don't know but anyway why how i came to the realization or to the understanding of you know that statement that knowledge is power is that you know, I look back at my journey, I look back at my 20s and I realize that for every time I hit a milestone, for every time I get an achievement, I was just, I just needed one key information. I needed like one major ingredient to make that soup sweet. <laughs> like I just needed one information and the moment I get that information, everything about that process just goes speedily, like everything just goes smoothly, right? I don't know if you guys get me, but information is very powerful you just need one information to get you to that place that you want to be you just need one information i mean you'll be reading a book you'll be watching a video you'll be listening to a podcast you'll be in a seminar you'll be in um in a conference and they will just say one statement you will just hear one statement and that will just set you up for success that will just you, you will just be your entire face will just be lit it will just be like one of those aha moments when you're just like uh-huh you know and that's just to you know to say that information is very powerful so what i'm trying to say in essence is that you need to be curious if you're in your 20s if you're young even as an adult you know even if you're in your 30s and your 40s you have to constantly learn because we are in a world that things change really fast so you need to be open and you need to you know be curious so information is very powerful and that is something that i know now for sure that in whatever i do even the bible says it you know that my people lack uh, perish because of lack of knowledge i be lack of understanding okay <laughs> you guys but it's in the bible and it just keeps my mind right now. It's in the Bible. You know, that, you know, people perish because they lack information, they lack understanding, they lack knowledge, you know. And, you know, just find ways to get information. And on that note, let me talk about my book briefly, okay? So I wrote a book, an ebook. It's an ebook, but I'm just, um, I printed it out for my own personal um, 
preference you know it's an ebook but i wrote this book and this book is packed with information that you need as a young adult as a millennial just like me this is a book you need because i realized that a lot of us millennials there's a certain mindset that we grew up believing especially if you grew up in the part of the world where i grew up in africa there's just this mindset this um, orientation there's just a way we were brought up that you know could affect us um and our freedom we're not like the gen z generation right so this book is packed with information with principles that will help you create the life that you love so it's something that you want to grab you want to grab a copy of that i'm going to talk about this book in a whole new video in another video but this is a book of principles it's full of information there's a lot of information out there on you know how to create the life you love how to redefine yourself how to discover your unique asset how to sustain the things that you have going on for you how to navigate tough times those are the things in this book you know those are the information you find in this book and um, there's a lot of um, information out there and so it's easy for someone to get overwhelmed but as I mentioned it may just be something one line one quote something that you just need to get to set yourself up for success so yeah you want to get a copy of this book this book is my birthday gift to myself and to the world so yes you want to grab a copy of that so anyway back to what i was saying i know for sure now that knowledge is powerful information is very powerful so whatever you do get wisdom get information be curious open up your mind <laughs> and then the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video because i don't want this video to be too long actually the last thing i'm going to say is that growth is so important growth is so important like i love growth i love anything that is growing i love it you know especially with human beings personal development i love it and i wrote here that life reveals itself in failure as much as it does with achievement and until you stretch, until you are stretched, you don't know the real you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I know that this may not be um, something new for some people, but I feel like these are things that you would hear and you would just be inspired to do better. So I feel like growth is also very important. Like this is something I know for sure. It's something I know for sure. Like there's a, it's no brainer growth is very important in life it's a natural phenomenon and i talked about this in the video i made where i talked about uh, misconceptions about personal growth about personal development i'm going to link it in the cards you know growth is so important you don't want to be stagnant in life right everything you go through the failures the achievements the highs the lows they are just indicating that you need to grow you need to move and then when those things when those experiences stretches you don't stay stuck like don't allow yourself to be stagnant don't settle in your comfort zone i think that's what i'm trying to say let me just bring this um home let me just give you a practical example with myself so in the past i don't i did not consider myself a writer i did not think that i could write anything i consider myself a speaker i talk a lot i know how to teach and um i just didn't consider myself a writer i didn't even think that i could write Things, and I've said this before in one of my previous videos so it was until I was asked to write someone saw one of my videos and you know Dazzly Insights the um, company Dazzly Insights brand they saw my video on YouTube and asked me to write for their blog post to be a guest writer for their blog post and I was like I can't even write I don't know how to write and my husband was like you know how to write it's just that you have never written something for public viewing and at that time, I script my videos, like I script everything I want to say, like not word for word, but I highlight it. I write the key points that I want to talk about. When I initially started my YouTube channel, I wasn't, you know, you know, camera was just something. If it's just one on one with someone, I know how to talk, like, you know, express myself. But with camera, I just feel like I don't want to come and stutter on camera. So I used to script and it would go through the, the script and I'd be like, hmm, you can write, shall. But I'll just laugh about it like, no, I can't write though. You know, until I was stretched, until I was asked to write for public view. And of course, I got someone to support me, to back me up, to ginger me that I can do it. I didn't even know that I could do that. And now here we are. I have a book that I've written. You know, so until you stretch on like growth is just so important. You will not know the real you until you are stretched. You will not know how much potentials you have until you move away from your comfort zone. So what I'm saying is that until you stretch yourself, until you 
whatever life brings, you know, whatever life brings, achievements, failures, highs, lows, until you stretch yourself in that moment, you may not really grow. You may not really discover yourself. You may not really know, you know, you may not utilize all that you have, all the power, all the potentials that you have inside of you. So I know that, you know, this is just the beginning for me. I'm still evolving. I'm still growing. And there are a lot of things that I would still discover about myself as I grow older, as I continue um, in my journey. So yes, now I know for sure that growth is very important. So that's it. Those are the five things that I want to highlight in this video. Those are not the only things I know now for sure. Of course, there are lots more, but those are the key things. These are the key things that I want to share with you guys in this video. So let me know in the comment section, what are the things you know for sure now? Like it's a no brainer for you. Nobody can come and tell you, Jack, you know that this thing is setting okay let me know in the comment section i would love to hear from you so yeah thank you guys for watching this video thank you so much for the love i know by now i would have gotten a lot of um happy birthday messages and all of that so thank you all in advance i love you guys thank you for watching this video thank you for your time i'll see you in my next video so thank you for watching this video thank you for your time you guys are amazing and i love you all bye